All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Big Mike here from Big Mike's Fishing Charters. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about fishing gear, specifically your rod holders. Now, I'm not going to judge you because I've been there, but I cannot tell you how many times I see fishermen spend fifty, sixty, seventy, a hundred thousand dollars on a boat. They go out and buy the best rod, the best reel they can find, so four or five hundred bucks for a setup sometimes. And then they go and put that into a $20 plastic rod holder. <laughs> I'm not judging. I was there. I did the same thing. And uh, I learned the hard way. So I'm here to talk to you about rod holders today, and specifically uh, Cisco Fishing Systems rod holders. And I'll tell you not only why I'm pro staff for them, but why I believe in their products so much. And believe me, uh, I've used them all. I've used Scotty's, I've used Cannon's, I've used the Cabela's brand, I've used Atco, I've used them all. And I am telling you, these things are built for life. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, although not, not that much more expensive, honestly, than the Canon Dual Axis, uh, which I've had 20 of. Um, but unlike those, these will never fall apart, they will never rust, there's no plastic caps, there's no problems, but let's talk about it first, okay? So, the plastic fishing holders, uh, fishing rod holders, they do work, no doubt. Uh, if you're using it for walleye or trolling for small fish, you'll be fine. Um, they work fine. They're a pretty strong plastic. I've never seen them break, but I have seen one ripped right off a boat before from a king salmon. If you're, fooling, if you're trolling for uh, Rainbow or King Salmon or Coho, I, I don't know about you, but I personally would not put my $500 rod and reel combo with all my tackle on the end into a plastic holder. So, learning from that, I upgraded to some Canon dual axis rod holders. And uh, I'll put an image in the video. They weren't bad. They really weren't. But there's a couple design flaws with them that I really don't like. In fact, most of the rod holders do this. The first one is they put a plastic cap on top. This is a Cisco, by the way. So they put a plastic cap on top. And if you've seen the cannons, you'll see that there's a plastic piece running down the back and says cannon. Um, that plastic cap, if that, that rubber cap or plastic cap, if it pops off, and it will, that cannon plastic piece will come right out and you'll lose it. Um, there is a center pin, unlike this design, there's a center pin going down through the middle, uh, a bolt actually, and the problem with it is that as you're driving and trailering your boat around or as you're driving on the water, uh, the rod holders rattle a bit. Um, it's where they pivot around, and it comes loose, and I actually did have one fall right off. Luckily, I caught it um, with my rod still in it, but just poorly designed. Sorry, they really are. Uh, and I'm not bashing them. I did contact Canon. They sent me replacement rod holders, which I really appreciated. Unfortunately, the same problem happened even after I took them apart and put Loctite on them. Um, the other concern I have is that the Canon rotation system is held together by one small pin of metal. So if you're trolling with, you know, 20 pound cannonballs uh, and, you know, a big flasher and spoon, that's a lot of torque on those Canon rod holders. Um, that that pin shears, that's really all that's holding it in place. So, uh, after trying for many years to save money, I finally decided to go out and buy what I consider to be, and most people would agree with me, the best rod holders on the market. And that is, and I have to back up a little bit, the Cisco Systems, Cisco Fishing Systems rod holders. All CNC machined. Um, absolutely fantastic strong 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 you will never ever ever break these if you see here you see those teeth uh, there's a spring inside of here and you have to lift the rod holder up in fact the spring's so strong I can't even do it unless it's in um, in a track system um, and then you can rotate the rod holder you can see here the clamp so that you can rotate them little uh, sticky but nice and tight you can also tighten that up just by rotating it uh, make it as strong as you want or as loose they have knurled uh, 
screws to keep the rod holder from moving in the track. Very heavy duty. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but really well made. Now for those of you who have uh, rangers or rail systems on your boats, you can get um, a rail attachment instead of a track system. Uh, my buddy's Lund doesn't have either, so they've actually created a Lund track system that works really, really well. He takes the whole, the whole track and rod holders off in a matter of seconds, which is really nice. Um, these absolutely are, there's a gimbal in the bottom as you can see, these absolutely will never, ever fall apart. They will never, ever rust. As you can see, you can angle them in any direction you want. I'm trying to get that in the camera there. These are, these are big rod holders. These are tube style or rocket launcher style. Um, I run uh, anywhere from six to 10 on the boat, depending how many people I have on the boat that day. And uh, you can get these pieces in a anodized color. I think blue, black, and green, right, and gold. Blue, black, and gold, uh, or the uh, the silver like this. Really, really, these are heavy. These are heavy, and I can assure you, I've spoken to uh, Cisco many times. Um, if you ever somehow manage to break one of these things, I am positive they would replace it for you. Um, the tube actually, and I've got it really locked on tight, but it actually, I can't even get it off. You can unscrew it. I've, I've cranked them on pretty tight and they've been on there for a year, so they're not coming off now, uh, which is a good thing. You can see, really well made, guys. Really, really strong. Left them out in the rain. They've never rusted. They've never gotten any marks on them. But most importantly, they've never failed me. Um, I've got some pretty expensive equipment now. And uh, now that I'm chartering, I really want to make sure that I have top of the line gear so they don't lose my equipment. These are them, guys. So, if you are looking for gear, and they make some other great stuff. They make amazing uh, downriggers, all of steel, um, completely rust proof. Uh, mounts for your electronics, uh, savers for your uh, the neck of your uh, trolling motor. A lot of us have 60, 72 inch trolling motors. Um, those tend to bounce around quite a bit when you're driving around so you can get a mount from them to stabilize it. Uh, really great products guys and that is why I'm working with them. Not because they're doing anything for me. I bought all my products. I didn't get a discount. I actually bought them before I was a uh, pro staffer for them. I'm with them because I believe in their products and they are by far the best. So. Save yourself the headache and the years of pain that I went through. Skip the plastic, skip all the other junk, and go straight to the Cisco rod holders. And the best part is not having that cap, because I'm telling you, uh, the caps on every single one I've ever seen just pop off. They go in the water and they're gone. Plain and simple, they're gone. So, this is, you know, and they advertise it this way, and it is absolutely true. This is the last rod holder you will ever, ever need. Guaranteed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the water.